So this is the first step. I put two layers of Krylon's Super Color Clown White makeup on my face. Um, and then I set it with Krylon's translucent setting powder. Um, so at this point, what you want to do, you could actually, this is only two layers, and this Krylon's white, um, obviously if you're, if you have lighter skin, you'd probably only, only need one layer, whereas I'm darker, so therefore every time I put one layer, like, you could still see, um, color under, that may that be brown, dark brown, anything that's, like, not white. Um, so you, my point is you can actually add more layers of white if you want, but because of the fact that I'm not going to go out with this today, I'm just doing it because I feel a lot of people would probably want to know how, and as simple as it may be for some or whatnot, um, some people would just maybe need like an actual video, um, and so I wanted to make one. Um, okay, so after you put your paint on, and you set it with powder. I'm actually just going to use Mehron's Black, which is like two bucks at some hat store in Berkeley on Telegraph and like Dwight or something like that. Um, two dollars, three dollars. Um, it's, it's face paint. So it's not, you probably don't want to spend any of your like Mac because So, now I have two black eyes. Um, after that, you probably, no, you don't probably, you want to make the nose parts, which is like, when you look at a, a skull, it's not, this is all cartilage, so when you're dead and your body decomposes, the cartilage goes away and all you have is like two like holes that are like triangle shaped almost. Okay, so there you have it. It's just like two little triangles, and I'm still using the same brush. This is like some synthetic, fake... No, it's not a Mac brush. What brush is this? I don't know. It's just some really synthetic. It's not. Like, you can wash the paint off of it with no problem. Okay, and now what you probably want to do... So now that I have my eyes done and I have my nose done, what you want to do is, um, I actually have a, this was a brush, an eyeliner brush that you can actually also use to draw on your eyebrows, um, for 99 cents from Target. And yeah, if you don't like Target, well, we can talk about that in another blog. So what you want to do, or at least what I'm going to do, is create, like, little circles around the whole eye um, symbolizing like uh, flowers um, because it actually is supposed to look like a marigold obviously not like a real marigold because you're using black on a white face but like a marigold because that is one of the flowers that they use for um, El Dia de los Muertos or the Day of the Dead when they when they offer when they make offerings or put down flowers at the altar along with the tequila and and the bread of the dead El Pan de Muerto the flowers, that's my cat, no that's not my cat, I'm babysitting the cat, um, so yeah, what you want to do is create like, the petals, and they can be nice, they cannot, it doesn't really matter, at least for me, I feel as this is a very real raw thing, and it's not just about beauty, but it's about like, the symbolism that it creates, and it, it has meaning around it, it's not just, oh look, you have pretty makeup on your face, so however you want it, um, So, I have now completed all the petals and the dots all around them. 
Um, what I actually want to do now is make a flower on my chin. So what I'm going to do is... Now, what I want to do is actually um, create lines on the side of my face. Um, so I'm going to start from here and I'm going to go like around here. doesn't really matter what you do um, as long as you do something. And I'm actually going to start it from the end of the... So using the same brush and the same paint, I'm actually going to start from here and create, like instead of a contour, like create like a squiggly line going this way. Um, and that'll be like my cheek, my cheekbone. You can also do the whole, oh, blending the shadow, doing all, but I don't want to do that. So now, since I'm like done, let me see if I can see it better here. It's the same. Now I'm actually going to go in and put spirit gum, which you can get at like any Halloween store during Halloween. You can, where else could you get it? Um, different like costume shops. There's a store that I go to that actually they sell it all year long. And look at that's in Berkeley. And I don't know what it's called, so I won't give a name because I don't know what it's called. So all I'm doing is just kind of dabbing as best as I can in the lines. And not like so much on the black areas. The spirit gum, which is um, glue. It's pretty much glue, but it's like makeup glue, so you can actually. I wouldn't recommend this to put it like later on if you're gonna do like. Is um, do the reds. See that? You can really see it on the camera. And I'm gonna do every other one. I'm not gonna do every every petal red, just every other one.
So this is my final look. I have added the glitter on around the petals on the flower that I created under my chin. I was actually, the glitter, I got it from, um, I just feel that the the sugar school, the calaveras de azúcar, they're really colorful and when I think of it, although it's not glitter on it, I think of glitter. Um, so this is one that I actually made. And it's like squiggly lines everywhere. Um, and the placard on the forehead so you could write whoever's name you want and my boyfriend made this one with flowers all in the head and squiggly lines and the red eyes you see and my forehead is supposed to be somewhat similar to what he did there but not exactly um, so that's my video and um, if you have any questions, um, don't mind asking, leave your comment below. Subscribe, I'm going to start doing some new videos of different things, different drag looks, whatnot. And this is actually a sash around my head because I couldn't find a rubber band and I couldn't find my thing that I keep to pull my hair back. Um, yeah, so um, I hope you treat this with respect and dignity and Feliz Dia de los Muertos. Okay, this is like for real the last one. I actually added red lipstick. And I think it goes really well with the whole, you know, look. Just need a little more hairspray. Put the rose back on and I'm good. You know, you can configure it a little bit depending on what you do. Um, the lipstick does make you look a little more feminine if you want to go for like a super high femme, high glam type look. So, yeah. So that's what the lipstick does.